Okay, while well, going, everybody, Lennox here from Simple One Two Three Trader. It is just a couple more, couple of minutes, maybe one minute before the three o'clock uh, last hour session of the New York uh, Stock Exchange, and uh, welcome you to the session. And uh, glad that you can join us. So we're we're sitting and looking at the uh, IWM uh, for the last hour here of the day and we'll see how this plays out we've been looking at this um, all morning let's let me go back to the five minute all morning and we have been well since this morning basically uh, it's just been uh, up, up up and away so no no signs of it turning to the downside whatsoever um, and it still still has a little bit of strength left even into the last hour Hour, which is amazing. I'm very surprised at, at the overall move. So just to give an overview of what transpired today, let's see. Let me go to the start of the day, which was twenty fifth. Going to the twenty fifth, twenty fourth. Got to find that opening bar. It is here. Here it is. So this is where the market opened this morning. So uh, of course we have to have some, some expectations of what we think is going to happen. You know, I thought it would open up and go up for a little bit, but I didn't think it would go up for very long. However, I've been incorrect. Um, at this point, I thought we would um, come down at least back to this area here. And um, so I bought some um, puts. We ha I had some puts for the 196s actually for here. And we, we did not make it down. So um, price started going back up again. And uh, once it breaks this level, can't draw here. Once it breaks this level, then we know that we're, we're on our way to the upside. So you can see it uh, formed a one, two, three bottom, made this move. And so we're on our way to the upside. And so still thinking maybe it might turn, but it still, still doesn't want to turn. So at this point here, I decided, um, I believe it was around here. It's either in here or just above here. I decided to buy some insurance. And so I bought the 200 calls so that if just in case price did move up, I would make some uh, money to cover my losses of the, the, the puts. So uh, price did indeed continue pushing and you can see we're still way up there and my calls have become um, quite valuable at the end of the day. So, <laughs> and still, we're still up there the calls, the 200 calls. So the 200 calls are here. So, um, you know, they have done quite well because we're above the 200. And um, they, I actually got out up here, um, but I wasn't, I, again, I was expecting the price to come back down, but it's still struggling to uh, push higher in, in, incredibly. So this is where we're at right now. We're kind of, I'm on the one minute time frame. We're, we're in a, in a channel here and we're just going up and down in it. And uh, it looks like it wants to go one more time to the upside. I'm still hoping that it will fall, but um, we'll see how it plays out. So that's where we're at. So glad that everyone who's here can uh, join us. Um, thanks for um, dropping in, Murray. If you can see this move here from uh, yesterday, uh, you know, the market opened up uh, with a huge loss. And at that point, I thought, okay, that the market might never make back above this level, but uh, it tried. The, the bears tried to push it back down, but they couldn't. The bulls came in and they're just been very strong. So they pushed the market up uh, for these last two days now uh, with a lot of vigor. And so this is where we're, we're sitting at. So quite interesting. 
Hello. Chuck, good afternoon, George. You are back. Yeah, I'm back. Mr. Pitcher is back with us. He's uh, out there in New Jersey, basking in the uh, beautiful sunshine of a Friday afternoon. Yes, it is sunshiny. Thank yeah, you. I can tell. Yeah. Well, it doesn't look like I, I fared very well with uh, my puts. Well, um, like I just went over what uh, transpired and um, just just uh, explained that I bought, I bought the 200 calls. Um, I think it was in here somewhere. I bought the 200 calls just for insurance, uh, just in case price did not go down like we were expecting. Uh, especially after it didn't break here to to the downside here, yeah, um, I kind of felt that maybe we we were it was over for the move to the downside. So once it started moving up, I decided to buy the two hundred calls. So those came those turned out nicely. So I made some nice profit on the two hundred calls. I got out, I believe, in here, and then it started to drop. And I thought, okay, that's it. We're coming down now, but uh, it still <laughs> decided to go back up. Um, so. You can't fight it. It's just uh, doing what it's doing. Well, so you were uh, wise in buying the uh, calls, but uh, I said the heck with it at that point. Yeah, it, you know, just it's just some insurance, just in case. I mean, yeah. the the well, worst case the worst case scenario is a break even. You know, uh, well, the, not the worst case I, scenario. I, well, but, I probably I'd have to put on a number of them to get for the break even, but. So yeah, I'd rather come out with a break even than to lose, you know. So uh, this this way, I'm up. I'm actually up a little bit instead of instead of a loss. But you know, this we we're in the last hour now. We're just you know five or six minutes in. So this could still turn, you know, in a hurry. You know how quickly people start selling off. So um, it is still possible to come down, but it's highly unlikely at this point <laughs> that we're going to make it down to 196. So yeah, yeah, that would be would be hard pressed to make it here, but it is possible for it to to um, sell off. Uh, maybe just this a uh, little bit here. Well, I don't I don't think we're going to get much of a sell off between now and the close. Well, it's interesting that it it is um, so buoyant uh, with all that's going on. Um, I'm very surprised that Dow is up almost 700 points right now. You know, so the Dow, you remember yesterday, the Dow was was all red. It was like 24 or 20, sorry, 20, yeah, maybe 24 or 25 of the, of the 30 Dow components were in the red. Um, so it's very interesting. And, and in the morning, anyways. The, yeah, the but they're, they're closing positive now. Yeah, and they closed positive yesterday as well. So it was, it's incredible to turn around. Very impressive. Yeah, yeah, it is. Yeah. So, and, and here we are at the end of the day, and we're we're in a sideways channel, and it looks like we could still push to the upside one more time. So, yeah, um, yeah, it's not looking at all that the bears have any bearing on the market today. So, what I wanted to do was to. Um, just quickly look at uh, some of the um, the earnings from last yesterday that we looked at to see how they fared. Um, okay, sounds good. Yeah, because we 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 looked at some and thought, okay, um, one especially was Dell. I remember Dell. We we've yeah we thought, yeah we. we Miserated over Dell because of their recent split. Yeah, and I thought Dell would fall. So um, let's see how they fared. Okay. So, so this is the daily. Fall? So they did fall. Okay, so that was what that was the expected move. So from this one, two, three top. Yeah. We, since we have a one, two, three top, and we were sitting right here. Um, yesterday, so yeah. or here. I think we were here. I'm not even sure. Let me let me go to the daily and make sure we're where we really were. Yeah, 
Okay, so we were on this bar yesterday, which is at work to a time frame now. Okay, so we were right here yesterday, and then um, my so expectation was for it, um, yeah, so weak earn, weak earnings for Dell, and sure enough, so that would have been a, a really good play on the, on the puts for Dell. Yeah. Okay. Uh, and those puts, the fifty-five puts right now, are um, three fifty. Well, that you know, we would have probably bought the, you know, like the um, a little lower puts, fifty twos or something like that. But the, the uh, main well, thing is, they, they're in um, the fifty two and a half. We could could have yeah. bought. Um. Coinbase was another one that we looked at, and um, I don't know if we looked at Etsy. I don't know if we looked at Etsy. I, I can't remember if we did look at ETSY, but um, let me just see. I, I think if if I remember correctly, I should I should write these out when I do them, actually. But um, yeah, they went up, so I don't remember if we looked at them or not. I don't recall that one. Yeah, if we did, I don't remember. I don't think we did look at that one, so I'm going to leave that one off. Um, okay, I think we looked at um, Square, SQ, and I th let's see. SQ I think we looked, we looked at. at um, yeah, I think we thought that this one was going to fall as well. Um, I it didn't. It, um yeah what i should do next time what we should do is make sure that we document what we're so we can be positive about what happened after but um yeah, yeah. this was way down so i'm i'm kind of thinking we said that it might bounce at this point because we were so far down but i'm not positive about that so um yeah it did I, bounce. I didn't write it down either yeah, so it did make, did do quite a bounce here. So um, I, I'm pretty sure that uh, we looked at it and thought maybe that it would do a bounce. But um, I, again, I, I'm not positive. So let's see. Another one that we looked at was um, Monster and Coinbase. So let's see, Monster. I remember Monster. And they also popped to the upside. So let me see on the weekly. And I think we thought uh, that was possible because we were down at support as well. Um, so that did just that. And then Coinbase, I think we thought that that was going to fall, if I remember correctly. So that's the daily. And because we had a one, two, three top, I remember that one. And um, didn't do much here. I just can't see anything. I'm not sure what happened, but we do have a large one, two, three top down to this level. So I was expecting a fall, but I'm not seeing much of a. I don't move. see much there either. Yeah. Yeah. So it just maybe didn't do much. All right. So that that's kind of that. So for next for for Monday, there's of course earnings this morning uh, came out. Uh, CIBC came out. Wow. Well, so they. Monday. Sorry. Is that before market open on Monday or what? Um, no, these were for this morning. Oh, 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 oh. Yeah, these are this morning uh, plays. This is a uh, Bank of Montreal or Canadian Imperial Bank of Commerce, I should say. And there are a number of ones from this morning that had um, some had some big moves. Well, we didn't check any of these out. No, no. So for net for, for the twenty eighth, which is on Monday, we can see what's um, setting up, and um, we can look at the um, what's opening on the in the morning.
there are a lot of stocks here. Yeah, there was one I saw it was 14 percent. What was that? DQ, the energy one. Yeah, yeah, DQ, and there's one for 23 percent. AUPH, never heard of them. And there's 17 percent KOS, Kinross. Oh no, that's Cosmos. I thought it was Kinross. And then one there's one for the two energies. 13 percent XPEL. So. Um, Let's let's take a look at the first one for 14% DQ and C. Okay, so this time let's make, I'm going to make sure I write these down so uh, that we have them. Yeah, we should do that. So I'm going to go up to the weekly, look at DQ. So they were down okay, in the well, support area. You know why we didn't write uh, a lot down is that they were uh, monthly uh, options. Mm, like okay. the like dq is a monthly option i think i see so dq as um looks like we're in pretty flat down here but uh looking like they could uh bounce out of there yeah yeah it's possible they're down at a, at a support area so it's, oh, um, oh we're 21 days out which would bring the price of the uh put or call depending upon our decision up to a higher level. So at DQ, let's see, DQ, um, what is this guy called? Daigle, Daigle, DQ, DAQ, DAQ, O, New Energy. Uh, so the 18th of March, uh, 50 calls, for instance, are... 50 calls are are uh, 90 cents that's not that bad no it's not that bad that not bad at all the problem the problem is it's a a 20 percent a 20 cents spread and uh the volume is only 49 and um with an 802 open interest which means that you can you can have a problem getting your price yeah it's it's a uh, not an expensive stock and that's probably why you know, yeah there's a yeah. lot of a lot of open interest on the um the open interest on the 45, 45 call, on the 45 calls it's almost 1300 but it, again your your volume is only 91 and and i usually like to have them in the hundreds anyway yeah, this is an interesting um, setup here. Oh yeah, it, it could be very much a legitimate, uh, you know, increase that we could get. But it could it could go both, you know, either way really. But um, looking more like it wants to go to the upside, we've had nice moves. It went sideways here for a bit, but it's pushing back out again and breaking above that level so it looks like a reasonable but i, I don't know anything it. about the company so well that's okay we it's, don't need to know an anything ADR. about the company. it's an adr anyway yeah all right so let's take a look at the next one um this one is 12 10 percent expected move 11% expected move on this one. So that that's uh, E Y E National Vision. Okay, let's see how they look. I see, I see, huh? <laughs> <laughs> okay, that's another one with uh that I would definitely stay away from. It's got a, a monthly option and in mm. the current month, there's only one price that has a volume of one out after it. Mm. Okay, so you can see it's right down at, at its bottom with a pin bar. So it looks like it should push to the upside, but with the, with the price being so low and not enough volume, that doesn't bode well for a good play. But yeah, expected right. move is pretty good though. All right, so let's see the next one uh, is. Uh, 
who or don't know w h d not w h o i need i i need i need national vision holdings to help me out here w h d well it's another one that um the the highest uh volume is five mm -hmm. okay so we'll skip that one as well <laughs> that's hilarious okay so yeah and it looks it looks like it should go higher as well you know based on the pattern so okay next um pickings are lean eh a l or a u p h a u p h a u p h a u p h is that yeah a u p h Another one that's very low in price. Yeah, and they're down. It's very low in price. At least it has more uh, volume on on the options, but it's very low in price. So, mm -hmm. so they're right down at the bottom of their move, and should let's go down to the hourly and take a look at this last leg. Um, yeah, it's. It's finish one way and if you want because they could still fall. Yeah, the, the price of the opt of these um, the shares are pretty low. Interesting. Um, yeah, interesting there. So how how is IWM still going up? Yeah, still pushing to the upside. Eh? Wow. Okay, it's not it doesn't want to turn around in the last hour here at all. Okay, uh, what's interesting on the uh, last one uh, is that there seems to be more open interest on the put side. Yeah, I would I would have uh, given that the nod for the puts because of of this the structure of that um, last yeah. leg of the wave. We are we are, but um, if we okay, so that's the hourly. If I go to the fifteen and look at this, we are pushing you know up right now so yeah. on monday of course this can change it might look like it's going to go up but then this can be down here on monday open they might have bad earnings and really be stuck in the wave four at this point yeah too. this could be just a wave four here that we're in and yeah. we're going to drop right through so I would give that one a not more a nod to the downside on that one. I would say. So what are the um? We're at with almost sixteen right now. What are the fourteens worth? Hmm. Okay, the the fourteen uh, puts are uh, ninety five cents. That's pretty good. Wow. <laughs> and it's got a lot of uh action on it yeah um A -U -P -H. 1300 uh open interest uh the volume yeah, not, on it yeah, is 53 i mean yeah, it's not pretty, nothing exciting no volume's pretty low but with an expected move of um what was that uh 20 Three almost yeah, it's almost twenty four percent. Wow, that's pretty good. Well, almost a three dollar move. Took a thirty percent of um, uh, you know, sixteen dollars. Yeah, it's almost a three. It's about a three dollar move expected. So yeah. it would drop to maybe twelve from or thirteen from here if it if it falls. Interesting one. The the options are are a good price. All right. So, and that's an expiration for the twenty uh, second of March. So you got lots of time. <clears throat> All right. So let's see. The next one is uh, KOS. So let's see how KOS there expects to move almost eighteen percent. And we'll go to the weekly. We don't have any weaklings that I can yeah. see. They're looking pretty strong there. 
and they're in a kind of a messy area. But it's um, what am I even doing? It's four dollar stock. We're not going to buy options they, on that. They, they don't have much action. There's only no, three no. spike prices. Okay. Yeah, yeah. It's you wouldn't want to be buying that. It's only a four dollar stock. So I know. Um, XPEL is the next one. XPEL. I never, never even heard of these symbols. Okay, that's a better price. All right, so these guys uh, are pushing to the upside after a, after a fall and uh, looking relatively strong. So they're coming out of, of a huge channel here and making a push to the upside. Nothing really exciting here. So are they going to continue to the upside or is this just a fake out move and they're coming back down? It's an interesting one here. Four hour. They don't they don't have many strike prices available and there's the vo volume on is terrible on both sides. Suspected as well. Yeah, they're very choppy, eh? Never even heard of this company, Expel, Expel yeah. Inc. Yeah, so I would, if the volume is not so great, maybe not a good one to jump into it all. All right, so we're coming to the end of the um, earnings season pretty soon. So we, mostly, most of the big boys have uh, given their earnings, eh? So, um, there's a couple, I mean, you can see how exhaustive this list is. We're only on page one and we've got, we've got six pages. So yeah, we can keep yeah, going. You have them sorted down. You, okay. Yeah, I've got them all, all up. So this is, these are the aftermarket ones and HP is a big, HP and Zoom. So let's stick with the big boys, HP and Zoom. Let's take a look at those. Those are going to be for aftermarket HP. Let's see how they look. will come up that's not one HP HP HPQ it's HP yeah, right. uh, but they, they don't even well they do have a weekly that's expires today that's not going to help us so no, it has to be for we next, have next Friday on that one it'd have to be for next Friday yeah So HPQ looking good on the weekly. They've had quite a nice uh, run um, and trying to push back up again. But they do, if we do have, it's just kind of interesting. Yeah, we do have a. Um, you've got lower highs and lower lows on that thing. Yeah, and we and we do have a one, two, three top here. Yeah. So they, we, we, it looks like we've hit the fourth, we're at the fourth wave right now. Yeah, right. So, so we could get a bounce in here, definitely. Um, but it's a fourth what's, wave area. What's the price of, uh, expectancy on this thing? How much? The expected, the expected move is 7.6%. Um, uh, not, not too exciting. So you could get, you could expect a bounce here. Um, that's a, that's a two point move. Which yeah. is which is within. Um, Never like this stock. <laughs> yeah. Um, okay, so let's see. That, let's still look at Workday. W Workday W D A Y. On the weekly. Okay, so they've had quite a drop as well, back down to a support area all the way across, and looking to bounce. So. Uh, Murray, this must be super boring for you, looking at this stuff. W-O-G-A-Y, yeah. Work day. Yeah. That's the... Oh, sir, it's all in the form of education. I love it. Yes, so this is just, uh, you know, we just do a cursory look at um, 
the earnings to see if there's some if there's a gem sticking out that you know potential uh, for a play we jump in and get an option on it um, yeah these sort of have to have a fairly good setup for us to take take advantage of it uh, a nice price pattern and uh, a reasonable chance of uh, of a good move this one looks uh, like it has a chance here you know we after this move down um, it should push back up we're at 224 and uh, we could go right back up into the 235 area on that so the expected move for workday let's see is eight percent 30s the 230s have um at least a, a volume of well the, the actually 225s have a volume of 95 and um there the mark on that is eight dollars and 95 cents wow very expensive the expected move is eight percent so this could move you know a lot <laughs> so uh, 20 bucks yeah well i mean you could uh, let me see that's, that's quite a hefty a hefty move so you can see it has done it's done a nice uh move out and it you know looks like the the, the retrace was very short and looking very strong here just to you know once yeah it is so, so, so I don't see this falling back, but it, of course it could, but um, I see more of a, of a push to the upside uh, out for Workday. Workday is- it, uh, it just doesn't appear to have a, enough of a price advantage for it though. So the, so the two, what are the two? Okay, so 220. We have an open interest of 803. But there's only 52 opens, a volume of 52 right now. And for, so for the 4th of March, you're looking at, I hope. Yes, yes. Yeah, it's, it's a so weekly. Two, it's a weekly. Yeah. So the 235s are 400 and almost $500. 235s are. You know, there's only an open interest of 38 of them and the volume is 15. Yeah, it's amazing. There's not much going on with that one. All right, yeah. another one is a dud. Okay, let's let's see how Zoom, Zoom guys, they've been having so many issues. Their expected move is 18%. So let's see how they look. ZM. Zoom is, I think, an ADR, isn't it? And what's that mean? Uh, it's a foreign investment. No, Zoom is is United States. Well, yeah, but it, well, they usually say it a ADR. I know they have an association with uh, China. Hmm. I didn't know that. Okay, so Zoom, Zoom. Has no options though, so no, no options. Oh, that's interesting. Oh wait, ZM. Oh, I'm sorry, I'm spelling yeah, that. Yeah, I'd, I'd be surprised if it didn't have options. Yeah, they do. <laughs> yeah, so they, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, very, very yeah, expensive we, options. Just, um, uh, let me look. One twenty-four. They're very expensive options, that's for sure. Oh yeah, uh, ten dollars and sixty cents. We're at one twenty. We're at one twenty-five, say right now, and uh, the the one forties would be expensive. You want a call? For yeah, the call because it's way down at the bottom. I don't see this thing going any further down, but that's also <laughs> possible. But they're five hundred bucks for the one forties. Wow. Hmm. Yeah, they should. You know, it's about time they they took a, they got some good news going and pushed back up to the upside. But um, 
he had it right down at the bottom and trying very hard. You can see the, the the bulls have come back in and trying hard to push this back up. So it looks like they might have some. So is there something that's standing out in the option chain? Oh yeah, we got volume on the 130s. Well, that's the 130s the one that, are going for eight dollars and forty cents. Yeah. yeah. So somebody has bought a lot of those 130s. So that's yes. one. That's the one that's sticking out more than anything else, and in, in on the list. Yeah. Yeah. So somebody isn't in the know. So for eight hundred and thirty dollars or so, you could buy a one thirty Zoom call. All right. So, anyways, that's a look at some of the earnings. Um, Let's see if there's anything else that stands out in here. But like I say, this list is exhaustive. We've, we're we only on page one still on this one. So there's so many. All right. How far are we in? We're at 12.35. Okay, so I'm going to, uh, we're going to call this early uh, today because it's just uh, slow motion and not much going on. Slow motion um, Friday in the... The war is still on. Yeah, and, and it's, the market has not, um, the market did not respond like I was expecting. I, I was expecting um, a, a turnaround at, at this point back down, but it did not do what I expected. It kept going. And still looking to go up even as we speak. <laughs> it's amazing. I'm just wondering who who is buying stocks on a Friday before, with all the stuff going on, you know, in, in the world, it's kind of crazy. So it's still looking like we still have one more, one more leg to go. It's very I'm astonished that, it, that it's actually doing this. Amazing. Yes, it is. So, I, you know, I mean, would you be buying stocks on a Friday afternoon uh, with the the climate of the? Not, not me in this situation. Dude. No, I mean, I, I don't understand why this why this market is going up. It makes no sense. Why would you be buying stocks um, on a Friday? where um, there's so much tension. There's so much it, 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 craziness is going on. Yeah, it, it makes no sense to me why people would be buying, uh, you know, at these levels up here, they're still buying, they're still buying. It, it makes, unless they're, unless they're just covering their their butts because they, they were stuck. You know, they were stuck in this move, in this big, huge drop. And so they're covering themselves and taking advantage of that. That's the only thing I can see. I just don't understand that this move to the upside. So, you know, next week, I all I can see is red. Yeah. I, you know, I, I really, I'd be astonished, I'd be shocked if price kept going to the upside here. But, you know, anything is possible in this crazy market. But um, you just go to the 30. <clears throat> Okay, uh, Lennox, I'm, I'm uh, looking at um, the fundamentals for Zoom, ZM. Mm -hmm. Their earnings per share are expected to, well, in, in 2020, they they jumped from nine cents in 2019 to $2.25 in 20. Mm -hmm. And I think that's, you know, that's COVID related stuff and we're still in that phase so that that could give them a boost there they don't pay a dividend they have a nice uh, free cash flow per share is three dollars and 59 cents Oh, their sales per share is $8.89. That's not bad. We 
return on equity is 28.6%. Wow. Their net profit margin is 25.3. Wow. Um, the other thing we could look at is the insider trading for today to see if there's any that's standing out for the insider trading. Yeah. There are a number of sites online that are really good. I, I just did some research on the, some sites and there's some, there are some really good ones that offer even more uh, in-depth information. Um, but uh, just for a cursory look anyways, this, this site's pretty good. It will come up. So I, I, like, again, I always do it by shares just to get an idea of who's selling the most. So Chevron is on the list here now. No, that's not Chevron, CVS, uh, C Chevron is CVX. <clears throat> The COO is uh, unloading. Oh, he still has plenty left. No, the COO is uh, knocking out about half of his shares. Well, it's taking its time trying to come back here. Okay, so um, yeah, so these are the, the big sellers here, American shareholders. Uh, Mr. Icon, of course, with his $275 million sale of 10 million of his shares. Wow. Well, he has he has his own hedge fund, Carl. That's a, yeah, that's astounding. He's got he sold ten million, ten and a half million shares, and he still has thirty three million shares. He's left. located he's, in the New York area, I believe. That's hilarious, and he made two hundred and seventy five million on that sale. That's just crazy. Um, here's a chairman of the board of, of um, Everquote, uh, sold one million of his shares made 15 million dollars here's someone just a it looks like uh just it doesn't say he's a ceo or anything but uh, sold 911,000 of his shares for a cool 50 million and then the ceo of cvs was awarded 787,000 shares for an, a cool 80 million oh okay and that that brought his total up nicely. Very nice. <laughs> so yeah, some interesting uh, transactions here. So I always like to see the CEO, see why they're selling or buying their shares. So um, it's quite interesting. Something that stands out a little bit. Um, yeah, it's just that Newell one is interesting. He's uh, selling so many shares, uh, Mr. Icon of that NWR. Yeah, well, uh, I had read something in the paper, Wall Street Journal last week or something like that, that he had a, a disagreement on something that yeah. they were doing, and I forget what it was. Yeah, so he's not very happy, so he decided to sell, and and so he was selling at um, twenty five eighty six. So he's selling right in here at this point, right there. So it could have. It looks like it might have further um, downside at this point. Yeah, it's still pointing to the downside. So we had quite a move to the upside. 
and then we get the one, two, three top here that's pushing us down. So we still have another drop to come, it looks like. Yeah. It's yeah. taking us back down. Uh, yeah. So yeah, if he had some, if there was some uh, disagreements or whatever, um, yeah, he's just taking some off the table at this point here. Not, it might not be something that you know he, he's uh, doing to because he thinks the stock is dead in the water or anything like that, but because he still holds 33 million shares. <laughs> so he sold a third of his shares. It's quite a lot though. STX, see the next biggest one is a two, $221 million transaction by um, a, an American shareholder who sold 2 million shares of Seagate. The, but he still the, has 20 left. He's got 13 million left, STX. So let's see if he knows something. Seagate, that's the this well, company. Right? I mean, that's related a lot to the chip stuff. Yeah, the chip stuff. So he, he's selling them at a nice, he's selling them at a nice level. I mean, the the price is 108. So it's reselling it right here. So it's not terrible. And um, yeah, the, the, I don't see anything here that would look like it's going to fall, you know, hard or anything. It's just um, it was just a sale to take advantage of the price. That's why I right want to be sensitive to um, Taiwan. Yeah, he's selling right here at this point. So we do have a one, two, three top. We dropped coming back up, but we could drop a little further. So he's he's getting out while the getting is good because it did drop down to 100, pushed back up a little bit, but it's still going to drop back up one more time, more than likely, again, possible here. Right? So yeah, he's just getting, just taking advantage of the, of the price. Yeah. So yeah, so um, for Murray's sake here, Murray, um, we we just kind of do this, look at these the insider trading to see if we can spot any anything that pops out that might uh, give us a an end to um, picking up some stocks for cheaper or buying some options or something like that somebody might know something why they're selling or buying and so on so well for example uh, you can show them uh asan um that's all that yeah the, great we, times on that thing. yeah we're in a stock called asan because of this this type of thing so um asana let me go to i'll go to the daily on this so there, let me go down four hour on this and we can see it a little better. So you can see on the daily, they had quite, they were way up there for a while. They were up in the $145 area. And then they took a, a hard fall um, all the way down to 45. So they lost a hundred bucks of their share price. So then um, a few weeks, after, about two and a half weeks ago, I noticed um, an insider trade by the CEO and he had bought um, in at $45, where's $45, $45 is down here. So he bought in at $45 over here. Um, he bought one, 2.5 million or 1.25 million shares of, it, of the stock at, 40, at $45. So I figured he knew something. So I thought, okay, let me, let me follow suit and uh, jump in and I bought some options. And, um the, the stock kind of took off and went way up so uh, i took some profits here so it was really nice play and then uh it moved back down at this point here let me just move this chart over it, it moved back down and he picked up uh, another 1.25 million so 1.25 mil so he bought 1.25 mil down here and then he picked up some more here and then it, it took another move. So I had I kept uh, I had kept a, a couple of the options, and so I got out again up here. So got out here, got out here, and then it dropped back again 
two sept to around 70. So he's bought at he bought at 63 right in here, and he bought at 45. And so then he, de he decided to buy another 1.25 million here. So he bought another 1.25 million again here. So I thought, okay, he must know something. So I didn't notice that he had done that till it was price was here. So I, I was expecting a move back up. And so I bought um, some calls again to go back. But you can see, uh, he obviously doesn't know much. <laughs> that was it, just tanked. <laughs> so um, he had he had a good uh, run there, and and he had a nice uh, his overall um, buy-in was a, around fifty nine dollars or so for for those shares. But now they they took a tumble. But you can see it's starting to come back again. So maybe he he might be he might be on the list again for next week buying some might he might pick up another one point two two five million again. He's got enough shares anyway, so he can do that. But it looks like he's ready to make another push, George. Yeah. So we're gonna have a good good week next week on this, and uh, we have we have this we have the options till uh, the 18th of March, so uh, we should should make a good push. I might even pick up some. I might buy the 60s uh, on Monday. I might even buy yeah, them today. We'll see. That on next week, that's for sure. We'll see what they they're going for right now. I might even pick them up just now. So the, the IWM is still going up. Unbelievable. Hmm. Okay, so let's see what the Asan um, one or the Asan 60 calls are going for for the 18th of March right now. They are. Calls are uh, yeah, 390 right now. Wow, they're very expensive. So I'm going to stay out of that. <laughs> let's see 65s. To 235. I already have a bunch of them for the 75. So I guess I could pick up more of the 75s. Yeah, I should just do that. Buy some more 75s. Let me see how many I've got. Um, and... There's um, a lot of people are looking for a back at 75. Is open uh, volume is uh, 1827. Yeah, I've got um, five of them already, so I'm gonna I'm, I'm I might pick up another five at, do, at a dollar right now, so that that way as they move up, then I can just sell these off as the as price is moving up and even for a double, triple maybe. So I'll pick up another five. Let's see, Asana. Buy them right now because it looks like it's going to bust out to the upside. He might know more than we think. So bid is so. Let's see if I get filled. Well, there's eight eight more minutes to go. So. Oh, is that it? That's all? Wow. Okay. So we've made it through the whole. It's not, it's not hitting my order here. Were you able to get filled? No. Might have to go at the price. Now I'm filled. Okay. Good. Yeah, so this will get this will make up for the 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 drop against us. That's that's the kind of reason yeah. I'm doing that. So it looks like it's poised to make a nice push out. So hopefully that will happen next week here. 
All right, so IWM, let's look at this guy again. 15, so it looks to me like we were very, very, very close to the top of this move, but you can see even in the end of the day here, it's still pushing to the upside. So it did do, it did do that, um, that move. And uh, yeah, we're there. So I think that I think that's it now. We've come through that last band of pink, and uh, we should be at the top of this move. That's it. I think that's it now, George. It's coming back down. So um, yeah. me being a betting, me being a betting man, and it's six minutes to go. I'm going to buy some puts. If I were a betting man, I would buy some puts. How's that? So this will be for uh, Monday's uh, close, so 28th, Monday's expiry. I'm going to look at the, we're at 202. 201s, 202s, 200s. Wow. Okay, 200s are good prices. Where's 199? Way down here, 199. Let's see, go on the five minute, take a look at this. So you see it's coming down pretty quick now. Uh, 199s are here, so that's pretty reasonable. 199s are 65 cents. Yeah, so that's a good, that's a good play by 199s. And uh, let's see, the, it's going back up, so that's a good thing. Yeah, catch it when it's going up. All right, so I've got the the puts, and then if if I'm correct and it opens up down here on Monday morning, I'll just jump in and buy more as it's going down. So we'll see. So we get, you know, it looks like we're done at this point now to to the upside. So um, we should be heading back down. I didn't get filled yet. We got four minutes. I mean, based on this chart pattern, it looks like um, you know anything at this point could. Um, the market is on edge. You know, it's. If anything super negative occurs over the weekend here, this is going to come down hard. Is I still holding the XX? Okay, I got filled. Fourth. That's it for today. It looks so. The VXX has come quite a ways down. Yeah. Steven sold his uh, synthetic today. Made, um, mm -hmm. I think he made about uh, 20 per share. That's good. So it looks like VXX, we're sitting right at the cusp. So yep. it looks like it's going to drop through one more time back down, and then, then we'll get that big bounce. So, and that could happen. Uh, really quick yeah I'm, I'm hoping we get more down coming this point i've got a nice profit in that yeah this this is amazing right to the very end it's still hanging up there i'm i'm just super surprised that it still is but that's the way it is All right, the bell is going to go in a couple of minutes. Yeah, and we'll, we'll be done for the day.
there's, there's lots of um, interest in the um, in those uh, 200 puts on. Oh, look at that IWM cre creeping back up again. <laughs> the, the price of the option is still holding. Yeah, it's 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 crazy that it's still going up right to the very bitter end of the day. Wow, it even broke the high. Amazing. Wow, that's something else. Okay, so the options still hanging in there. Okay, so it broke the high by a little blip there with less than a minute to go in the in the market. So every time I think it's done, it's not. So <laughs> that's it. This is it. This is the this is the end here. It's got to be. There it is. Oh, See, I was right. <laughs> All right. Another day oh, has. Wow. Everyone uh, have super. a good weekend. Thank you, George. Thank you, Lennox. Um, thanks for dropping in, Murray. Appreciate that. Yes, Murray. Good to see you. Have a good weekend, Murray. And Vic, remember to send the data along to me. Thanks for hanging in there, Vic. If you were, th if you're still there. Nope, nobody's talking to us, George. All right, we'll we'll sign okay. off. We'll see you on. Have a good weekend, guys. Talk to you soon. Oh, there you are. All right, take Thanks, care. Bye. Send me right. the uh, send me the data, please, uh, Vic. You got a chance. You got it, George. Okay, thank you. Okay, bye. Have a good weekend, everyone. You too, George. Yes, you too.